Hello everybody, my name is uh, Yellow Mustang. Today we're going to be doing a Roblox tutorial on tweening. Uh, tweening could be used for many different purposes, you know, uh, GUI manipulation, object manipulation, color changing, you know, you name it. You know, tweening the service will be there to uh, back you up. So let's look at the uh, the wiki here on uh, tweening service. So tweening service create. So um, here's all the different uh, uh, variables that can be changed with tweening it's basically anything you need to be changed it it can change so vector 3 c frame you know huge udim 2 for gui you know you can use it all right so it's very useful function so today we're going to be um as an example i'm going to make this kind of move around change colors uh shrink a little bit maybe i'll make it a uh, move around a little bit too so let's go ahead and uh, jump right into this this tweening tutorial here so um uh, with tweening, you want to start off uh, referencing the tween service. So we're going to do tween service equals game get service tween service. Okay, you see. So we're going to be calling the game to get the uh, the tween service there, and then we need our our actual info for the tween. So we're going to go info, and then we're going to create a tween info, and then um, dot new. Okay. And see, you can see you got a bunch of different options in here. Number time, easing style, so um, like how you want it to look. If you want it, there's a bunch of different options on the wiki you can go through. Uh, bounce, elastic, linear, etc. You know, just pick pick whatever suits your needs. Go with that. Just look into it on the wiki. They got a GIF explaining it and everything. Um, easing direction, it's in or out basically. You know, if if it's leaving the screen out, in whatever repeat number count if you want it to repeat or not reserves number delay whatever yeah you name it so but the main thing we're looking at is the uh, the number time here is how long you're gonna run the actual tween for so the rest of this you can leave blank the important thing is is that you fill the actual number time so we're gonna go ahead and do that and I guess we'll change the the easing style as well so let's go ahead and uh, create the new and we're gonna make this tween last for let's go with three seconds I don't know we might change it we're gonna tweak it a little bit we gotta find what works best for us okay so do tween dot new uh, three seconds delay and then we're gonna do enum dot uh, uh, easing style okay and then we got our list here so you don't even have to go to the wiki you can just look right here too so we got all these different um, Easing styles we can choose from, so we'll just choose uh, linear because that's it's pretty smooth. You know, we want it to be a smooth transition for our 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 tween. Okay, and then next we're going to be um, defining the um, properties that we're going to be changing. So we got to make a table for this because with the uh, tween service, you can tween multiple um, properties at once within the same tween. So you can show you can tween the color of the brick and the uh, position at the same time you know if you need to or you can just tween one doesn't matter but it has to be a table that's important so we're gonna do goal dot okay color equals color three dot from RGB and then um, let's let's pick a color here so what do we what do we want this to change to so we'll make it a uh, like really blue so 255 at the end there change this back to black uh, 0 0 255 okay so this is going to be referencing the uh, part color property. So whatever property you want to change goes right here. And then this is the end goal for what you want the property to eventually wind up as. So it's going to take three seconds to go from the original color to this new new color that we have defined here. Okay, and let's let's go ahead and tween the uh, the size as well. So again, so that's the original size we got there for the thing. And then we're going to tween for the new size. We'll do uh, 20 by 20 dot 20. Okay. It sounds good enough. Um, and then we'll leave the position alone for now. I don't want to mess with that. It's going to get too confusing too much. So let's go ahead. So we got the goal, the info, the tween service all set up. So now we got to set up the actual tween itself. Okay, so we go tween equals um, uh, tween service. Let's see, tween service dot new. Uh, oh, create. No. Create. Okay. All right. Okay. So here's the syntax for it. So we go um, instance, which is our part or whatever you want to tween. It can be the lighting. It can be a GUI. It can be a part. Whatever you want. Uh, just make sure it's in this front front position here. 
and then tween info is going to be our info that we specified up there and then our property table is the actual goal so you see we made it a table it wants a property table so there we go you know ask and we we shall give okay so let's go workspace dot part okay so that's our instance that we're going to be tweening today and then we're going to go info and then we're going to go goal okay so just like they wanted it we we provide all right okay that's what we do with providers so this um this creates the tween here so you can um you can do this and then nothing's going to happen you have to actually play the tween so give it a little play down here and then we can actually um see this see this thing change so let's see let's see what happens here okay all right let's not do that there we go run and then as you can see it becomes very blue and it tweens to the size we told it to okay so that's that's pretty cool so at least i think it's pretty cool so um let's go um let's put this in a loop well actually no let's, let's not do a loop yet so let's the three three seconds seem pretty good, so we'll do wait three, and then we'll go ahead and um, change the uh, the goal equals color three new from uh, RGB. Oh shit! Uh, from RGB uh, zero zero zero, so that should be uh, like really black, as dark as you can make it, no color. Okay, so goal size equals uh, vector three dot new. Let's see what size this uh, part is right here. I don't even know. I can just made it a random size. Okay, so that's that's a stupid size. So let's make it a uh, 36, 36, 36. Okay, so we got a, a cube going on here. So let's update that here also. So that should should be fine. All right. So so we're gonna be updating the uh, the color and size of the tween now. So let's update the actual tween. So service create workspace dot part info dot goal okay so we're just gonna be we're gonna be using the same info and instance it's gonna be the same right so the only thing we're changing is the goal because we want it to go back to its original state after it's done running the other tween so three seconds this tween is gonna be running through so exactly three seconds it's this is gonna start running down here okay so you should notice with tweens when you're calling the tween service it doesn't delay your script at all it runs on a separate string uh, so it's not going to affect your your your, uh, your code here. It's just going to keep running down the list. So if you're going to want to wait, you got to add a wait here, okay? Because it's not going to wait. So let's go ahead and and run this, so you can see it shrinks, it changes, and it's going to not update because we got to put play. So remember, make sure you put your play. So you got to replay the thing because this is just creating it. We got to make sure it plays, okay? So little mistakes like that will will mess you up. Okay, and then as you can see, it becomes large again, and it goes back to very black. That is a very intimidating, giant black cube we have here, okay? So so that's pretty cool and dandy, right? So let's go ahead and put this in a, a loop here. So let's do wall wait three, okay? Do. Okay, so this is just going to be infinitely looping through with a three second delay. So it's going to run here, it's going to wait three seconds, run down here, and then wait three seconds up here, and then run through again, okay? So you're going to see the tween just repeat itself there. Okay, all right. I worried there for a second. <laughs> all right, so as you can see, it uh it comes out, it goes back in. So you can see you got like a pulsating, like alien looking brick thing here, you know, for your game. So, you know, if you want something something pulsating whatever you need a light flickering etc you know tweening service is is the service for you all right so there you have it right there so let's go over um let's go over GUI now because the GUI tweening is actually even easier to do okay so we don't need all this junk in the freaking uh, GUI tweening service so I got us a little screen GUI screen not GUI screen GUI set up here so I got a little cube here all right so let's go ahead and create a local script. So yeah, remember if you're going to be using anything with GUIs, you should be using a local script because this is going to be replicated inside of the player, and the player will be, you know, uh, messing in with it on the client side. Okay, so make sure you keep your client side and your server side separated. So um, we're gonna use a local script for this. So enough of that. So let's um let's create a variable here so we're going to do uh, frame equals scripts dot parent dot frame okay and then we're going to do uh, frame 
tween position or tween um you know let's just do tween position for now so you can see we got three different types of uh, tweens in here we got tween position tween size and position and uh just tween size oh man tween size and position right so so all of these it's pretty self-explanatory how it works um each one does exactly what it says it does so right now we just want it to move right so let's go ahead and look at the syntax here of what we're working with here so we got the end position right as the first um uh thing we need to insert here in the syntax so we got that we got the easing direction which is going to be in or out uh pretty simple the easing style you know i'm going to go with that go over that in a minute it's going to be a bunch of different kinds of styles we can choose from um, you saw that in the other one but we'll just reiterate over the list number of time um, how long you want the uh, tween to actually last for override right override is if another tween command tries to reference this if um, or if this tween oh, sorry okay let me let me break this down a little better here so if this is this object's already moving from another tween then this override, if it's true, is going to cancel that other tween and this one will start playing, okay? If it's false, then this isn't going to play if something else is already tweening this this uh, GUI here, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, start typing this out here. So I'm going to do the position and um, we'll just make it move to the, um, the bottom corner of the screen here. We do out because it's moving away. So uh, you can use strings like that if you if you remember them usually people like to use enums because enums are, are much better so uh, easing style and then uh, not style we want direction here easing direction okay and we got in out out in out whatever okay so, but we want out okay so we got out and then we need the style say so enum dot easing style and then we got oh my god we got every option here in the whole world okay we got back bounce elastic linear quad quint sign you know all of these got different functions you know there's a pretty useful um, gif on the wiki I recommend checking out if you're actually interested in you know tweaking this to perfection we'll use bounce you know I've used bounce in the past it's pretty sick I'll show you show you what bounce does today okay so we're gonna uh, define how long this uh, lasts for. We're gonna do two seconds. All right, sure, why not? And true. So if um, we're gonna make the interrupt true. So if this is already tweening, we'll just interrupt it with this. Okay. So let's see. Oops, we gotta actually load into the um, the world here. So actually, let's put a delay on this because it's gonna take a second for my character to load in here. So let's go ahead and play. And as you can see, boom. Okay, and you can see very smooth transition right and it even has like a little animation where it bounces out a little bit so it, it it's pretty pretty cool here so um yeah so i mean that's pretty good so um let's see what else i guess i can go over um the tween size and position it's a little bit different size and position okay so here's the syntax for it um it's the exact same syntax as we saw before but now we have the um in size at the beginning here and then we have the uh, in position after that and then everything else is in the same order so let's go ahead and uh, change the size in position here so you dim two for new and this is the uh, size we want it to be and then this is the uh, position we want it to go to okay And then we want out, and then we can do uh, linear. I'll just mix it up a little bit so you guys can get a better idea of what's going on here. Three seconds, and then we'll change it to interrupt false. Because why not? So as you can see here, now we got this clean little code. So let's let's see if this works. So it should theoretically move it to the corner, and it's going to make it huge because um, one in the um, if you look here in the actual uh, size category here the scale is like the percent of the screen it takes up so like one would be 100 percent of the screen size so it's going to be huge so this is going to be 100 percent 100 percent of the actual screen size so let's actually see here if this cube like grows into a massive abomination okay and as you can see it grows and it moves okay exactly how we wanted it to work and and that's that's what happens now so 
that's that's pretty much the end for uh, tween service. If I if I missed anything in this video, you know, shoot me a comment. I'll readdress it. I'll make another video explaining what exactly I missed. Um, make sure you guys like the video, you know, um, and check out my channel for more of these. I got a bunch of these coming up. I got more planned. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.